So here's a problem where there's a little bit, a little bit of work that we need to do before we actually get into solving this. Now the first thing I see is that I've got this 2 that needs to be distributed. So everything else is just going to get brought down. So this is a negative 5x. But when I distribute here, this is distributing a positive 2 to x and to negative 7. So what's 2 times x? That's 2x, and then 2 times negative 7 is? It's a minus 14, right? You always have to pay attention to your signs. On the right side, this is just a 22 minus 4x. I can't do anything else with that. Now, if you look here on the left side, you have some like terms to combine. So when you combine these guys, what do you have? Right, when you combine these, you get a negative 3x. And that's still minus 14. And on the other side, we have 22 minus 4x. Now, as we were doing these problems the other day, it doesn't matter which side you choose to put the variables on and which side you choose for the constants. Now, <coughs> I usually like to move my terms in such a way that the coefficient of x will be positive. So you can either move this 4x to the left, or you can move the 3x to the right. What's your choice? I would, I would move the 4x. And so this is a minus 4x. And what's the opposite if I'm going to move it to the other side? I'm going to add 4x. And when I add 4x to the left side, you put it underneath its like term, the negative 3x. So what's a negative 4x plus 4x? That gives me the 0. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to move that whole term, right? So let's rewrite what I have now. What's a negative 3x plus 4x? It's a positive 1x. I still have the minus 14, and I still have my 22. Now I'm probably showing more steps than some of you may show, but I want you guys to see piece by piece how we work this. There's a lot of stuff to do at the very beginning, but now that we have this, this is a single step problem, because all you have to do is get rid of that 14. And how do you get rid of that 14? You add the 14 to both sides. So negative 14 plus 14 becomes 0. And I have x is equal to what? X. I'm sorry, what? I was excited because I got it right. All right, someone's excited because I got it right. Anybody else excited they got it right? No, no one's excited. OK, man, when I got problems right, when I was younger, I was so happy. Tried telling my parents, they didn't care. Questions about this? Let's do another one just to make sure that we're all, all with it. All right? All right. So let's try this one. One hundred four minus four x is equal to 5x plus 41. This has a couple of steps to it. But if you take your time, you pay attention, we'll be able to get this. The first thing would be to figure out where do you want to move your x's or where do you want to move your constants. What's your choice? The x's. You want to move the x's? Which way do you want to move the x's, Dennis? Wait, OK, is it my, your right or my left? What, what is that? Oh, so you move to the right. OK, just got to turn my body. That was awkward. YouTube awkwardness, right? Hashtag. So if I move the variables to the right, you're going to do that how? To move this guy, because here's the thing, you don't want to, you can't just get rid of that coefficient. Okay? You want to move this whole piece <coughs> to the right side, so you're going to add 4x. 
Remember, what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other side. So what's negative 4x plus 4x? That gives you 0 because these guys are like terms. Do you all agree? That's why they get to cancel like that. So now I have 104 is equal to 9x plus 41. Now what? Can you subtract the 41? In the last step, I could have subtracted 41 at the same time. Like I could here subtract 41. Well, it's, that's what it's going to be. I mean, it's going to be subtracting 41 on both sides, right? And again, as we've shown before in other videos, there are several ways of doing the same steps. Okay, What I'm showing you here is step by step how you can do this. As you do more and more of these, you may start combining a couple of steps at the same time. It doesn't really matter. But I want you to see how this works first. So that gives you 0. And what does our equation look like now? So 63 is equal to 9x. I'm almost done. How do I get just plain x? Divide by the coefficient of 9. See, we save this step of division for the very, very end. Don't try to do it up here. It won't make any sense. At the very end, once I know that 9x is, is equal to 63, I want to know how much is 1x, and 1x is equal to how much? Now I can say 7 minus x, or I could say what? I could say x equals 7. It, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing, right?